Hi, and welcome to Review Geek 3000. You're here for one reason only, and that is to eat, sleep, wrestling, repeat. To watch exclusive content, please like, share, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And as always on this channel, stay awesome! So yes, guys, welcome back. And this is Review Geek 3000 on YouTube. And we're here again to bring to you the Contenders Corner Podcast. Episode 40, the Elimination Chamber review and ratings. And again, guys, join us for everything that is wrestling here over on YouTube. And again, guys, the past few weeks we released a Facebook page, and you can, it's directly linked to our YouTube channel. So basically, we share our videos across over to our Facebook page so we get so we reach a more wider audience and again guys the uh, the Facebook page is review geek 3000 on Facebook over on YouTube we are review geek 3000 and again guys you can contact us on all our social media we've got the we've got a YouTube channel review geek 3000 we've got our Facebook page over on the same name we've got the geek collections over on instagram and at our geek 3000 on twitter again guys we will love hearing you talking alongside you and again guys talking geeky with you on all our videos and again you can contact us and you can subscribe to us to support us again guys a massive shout out to all our friends all our friends on youtube our supporters who have supported us over the past few months since september and we strongly appreciate your support over on youtube again guys our schedule is the contenders corner podcast where we review wrestling on a weekly basis uh, We've got the film parade where we do a weekly film review and we do our monthly unboxings and our gaming streams. Um, again, guys, when we get bigger over on this channel, we will be doing monthly giveaways. But this is what it's all about, guys. The Elimination Chamber and the Road to Wrestle. Mania! Again, guys, the the show of shows, the show of immortals. We have got a shocker, guys. The Miz cashed in on his money in the bank. Uh, Roman retained his title. But Edge has answered Roman's challenge and he will be wrestling. Could he be wrestling Roman? for the total at Wrestlemania but again guys we are here to discuss this any outcome guys well again the road to Wrestlemania is dawning upon us we've got fast lane over the horizon now and then one more stint and then it's Wrestlemania 37 here we are guys guys the elimination chamber kicked off with the elimination chamber match to decide who would face Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship on the night the kickoff show also saw John Morrison beat Ricochet Mustafi Ali and Elias to replace Keith Lee in the US total match later in the night and it was Keith Lee who got pulled out of the uh, pay-per-view because of injury <laughs> so hold on set guys so again guys the road to Wrestlemania continued Sunday with the Elimination Chamber 
setting up a Wrestlemania showdown and giving fans a shocking ending on the night and that was The Miz. That doesn't mean the show was very good, it doesn't mean it was bad, but again, your opinions of, you know, express your thoughts on the pay-per-view guys. Let's talk, let's get this discussion going. But again, guys, however, instead, it was a good show. It was a good show, guys. Two matches were outstanding, guys, that I thought, that I thought, guys, there were a couple of moments in the pay-per-view that didn't make sense, didn't make much logic, but I'll get on to that as we go along in this video. And one of them was the shocking value at the end, which saw the Miz, which saw the Miz defeat Drew McIntyre and cash in that money in the bank. But again, guys, we will be talking about this later on as we go on. And again, guys, there was another little bit of a moment where Roman Wayne, Roman Reigns squashed Daniel Bryan, Bryan to retain the WWE Universal Championship after the latter survived the first Elimination Chamber of the night. <coughs> but then Edge came down and hit Reigns with a spear to formally announce his opponent to WWE's biggest event, WrestleMania. Again, guys, our first matchup was the Elimination Chamber, and that was Daniel Bryan versus Kevin Owens versus Jey Uso versus Sami Zayn versus Cesaro versus Baron Corbin. This match felt extremely long, and that uh, I, I couldn't say it hurt, but it, it it was a good match. It was a good match. I, I like both the Elimination Chamber matches, guys. They uh, gave us a lot. The elimination started with Cesaro forcing Corbin to submit with a sharpshooter, and Owens getting rid of Zayn with a with a stunner. Uso shockingly eliminated Owens after trapping his arm in the chamber and landing a bevy of super kicks before a splash to get the pinfall. That might mean. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. That might mean Owens and Uso will be in a feud at WrestleMania. Cesaro's momentum was ground to a halt when Uso eliminated him after a superkick during a giant swing that was followed by another splash. But Brian got the last laugh by hitting Uso with the running knee to secure the pin and then challenge Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. He had no chance in hell of winning that match, which makes the entire first match a moot point. WWE had an opportunity to create a new angle during this match, but didn't. Why? Who knows? But again, guys, I just thought he wasn't going to win the match to Roman Reigns. He's just fought five blokes, guys. He's fought five other men. How in the hell is he going to go into another match against Roman Reigns and then come out the victor? Again, guys, you know, uh, I just thought that there was a, a bit of a lack of creative here I thought they should have kept it to original you know um, what they did with Drew Drew fought alongside the men in the Elimination Chamber and then retained his 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 title Roman Reigns should have done that here he should have entered that Elimination Chamber fought in that match against five other blokes and then retained his Universal Championship not wait for someone to win the Elimination Chamber and then straight away go in and squash Daniel Bryan. Um, it was a good match, guys. It was a good match. I'm going to give it... Uh, Daniel Bryan winning the Elimination Chamber, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. Um, the squash match and then Edge coming to a spear Roman Reigns, I want to give that a 4 as well. Um, no, a 3.7 out of 5. Um, Roman Reigns defeating Daniel Bryan to retain the WWE Championship. I'm getting into this now, guys. This wasn't a match. It was 
just a vehicle to get us to the main event of WrestleMania. Um, I think this moment here, this match between Daniel Bryan and Ed Roman Reigns was used to uh, was used to mainly vehicle Edge to finally picking his opponent with Bryan beaten down Roman Reigns immediately attempted a spear but it was reversed into a yes lock a fresh Reigns was able to power out of the hold and obliterate Bryan with ground and pound a power bomb and a guillotine followed to put an end to the squash match but the real story was Edge making his decision to challenge Roman Reigns at Wrestlemania by spear him by spearing him afterwards but again guys you know did did Edge the rated R superstar just make did he make his Wrestlemania decision on that night you let me know in the comments below guys let's get this discussion going um, so yeah guys I'm going to give that squash match a 3.7 out of 5 it was still interesting um, the thing with Edge coming out to spear Roman Reigns I loved it I loved it and that's why I'm going to give that a 3.7 out of 5 Riddle versus Bobby Lashley and John Morrison for the United States Championship this match had a last minute change Keith Lee was removed because of injury and replaced by Morrison who won a fatal four fight a four way match on the pre-show the bout suffered without Lee but now WWE has a chance to make Riddle the star he seemed to be well he seems destined to be Riddle has spent the last few weeks getting ragdolled by Lashley and has been stuck with an aloof person that has, hasn't done much to show that he is an excellent wrestler maybe WWE will pull the trigger now because he certainly has it but again guys one way or another Riddle left that match the United States champion champion the new United States champion guys but what did that mean for Lashley we will <laughs> go on to that later on in this video guys then we have Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler against Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair I did predict uh, to my mate guys on a predictions league that Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler will retain the tag team championships and again guys they did so in ecstatic fashion why are we prolonging the inevit an inevitable Banks Belair feud and why is Rene Jewel involved in this Banks Belair angle this match was yet another vehicle for storytelling it, become, it became obvious that Reginald would involve himself and cost Banks and Belair but why Banks and Belair showed fantastic chemistry against the champions but once Reginald had entered that arena it all had changed and the match was doomed again guys uh, Reginald, Reginald cost them the match and Nia Jax and Shayna Bachelor are still the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions and I'll give that a a 3 out of 5 then we have the Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, Kofi Kingston, Sheamus and AJ Styles in an Elimination Chamber match for the WWE Championship. In this second Elimination Chamber match of the night, McIntyre successfully de defended his title with a fantastic finish, intercepting Styles, phenomenal forearm with a fantastic claymore in mid-air, guys. The match had strange ebbs and flows to it there were moments like Kingston and eliminating Orton first and some solid chemistry between Styles and McIntyre but it also had moments that lacked logic such as Styles inexplicably entering himself into the match to try and take advantage of Orton RKOing Kingston and Hardy after being eliminated it was also odd having Kingston and Hardy do little more than jump off things. Early in the night, we saw The Miz conversing with MVP and it became obvious that something was going on in the sidelines, guys. Back in the match, something was going on with The Miz and the Hurt Business, MVP and Lashley. Did The Miz offer something to the Hurt Business? Has he 
signed a new allegiance with MVP? Has he done a deal with the Hurt Business? Who knows, guys? But it all seems odd in shocking fashion that Bobby Lashley would come out to help The Miz to destroy Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship match. For the, w, for the WWE title. Again, guys, has The Miz set upon a new allegiance with the Hurt Business? Has he done a deal? Has The Miz done a deal with the devil? Is he... <laughs> has he struck a deal, guys, with Hurt Business to gain the title at the Elimination Chamber is something going to go on in the future are we going to see the Miz fulfilling his his burden for the Elimination Chamber is he going to betray the Hurt Business are we going to see the Miz do a deal here at the Elimination Chamber and then in months to come, MVP calls upon The Miz to unleash his burden. Is he going to backstab MVP here? Is he going to betray the Hurt Business's offer? Are we going to see Lashley and The Miz at WrestleMania? Are we going to see Lashley and The Miz at Fastlane? Who knows, guys? But something has gone on that night. The Miz has done some kind of deal here with MVP, with the Hurt Business, to gain this title, guys. Um, again, Hardy met his demise after eating a Claymore kick from McIntyre. Kingston was sent packing via bro kick by Sheamus and Styles nailed Sheamus with the phenomenal forearm to narrow the field to two. But as mentioned earlier, the finish wasn't in doubt the match that didn't make it any less remarkable to see McIntyre's Claymore kick land as he retained the title but then we had what it took place after and that was this shocking turnout here guys The Miz defeating Drew McIntyre on the night for the WWE Championship uh, but again guys you know um, there was a rumour going on from another YouTuber guys and he feels that McMahon feels the WWE title scene has been a little bit lacklustre recently and needed a boost of excitement, a boost of excitement to keep fans interested in the road to WrestleMania 37 and will balance out Raw and SmackDown's top championship scene and adds a much needed buzz to the Raw brand. Was the Miz here? Was this shocking? events with the miss this buzz that needed to create the excitement needed to keep fans interested in WWE here as Vince pulled another genius creative here to get the viewers in we will see guys but again the miss is the second, well, he has won the WWE title twice now, guys. And I'm going to give that match here, I'm going to give the first, the second Elimination Chamber match a 4 out of 5. I'm going to give the Miss the, and the Drew McIntyre match, I'm going to give that a 4 out of 5 as well. Uh, especially for the, um, the buzz, the excitement that that came from it the the shock here the especially how it all played out guys we had the Miz and MVP scene in backstage earlier in the night discussing something um, was this the Miz doing a bargain with MVP but again guys it was this that created this story that unfolded here during that match and then we saw Bobby Lashley come out to help the Miz and destroy Drew McIntyre and that's when we saw The Miz take the win uh, but again guys what does this mean for Wrestlemania surely WWE cannot be hitching its wagon to The Miz carrying the title 
there's still another pay-per-view with Fastlane and whatever deal there was between The Miz and MVP will certainly play out in the coming weeks but this <sighs> is what's going to keep everyone intrigued no doubt about that guys I didn't have The Miz here to win my um, bid here was that Drew and Roman Reigns would be carrying the title through to Wrestlemania and both would lose it at Wrestlemania that was my that was my bid here but again um, <sighs> it was a silly move because it didn't make sense here but again we shall see we shall see with what's gone on here with, you know uh, with MVP and The Miz We'll see. I'm going to give it a chance guys I'm going to give this a chance but again um, it was a good pay per view I'm going to give it a 4 I'm going to give from us at the Contenders Corner I'm going to give this a Contenders Corner show rating a 4 out of 5 it, w it was good it was good I enjoyed it I enjoyed it and again guys this is the Contenders Corner and this was your review and again guys like, share, subscribe smash that notification bell and as always, on this channel, stay awesome.